So why is it called lactate training? And no, before anyone says, it's nothing to do with breastfeeding. It's not a mum's app. It can be a mum's app, but it's not. The core fundamental problem that I set out with at the start was that people guess their training zones. People have absolutely no idea where their heart rate zones are. So I wanted to make a system, make an app that was so easy to use for running coaches or for cycling coaches or triathlon coaches or rowing coaches and that uses AI to analyze and tell you exactly where your heart rate zones are based on doing blood lactate testing. So if you're an absolute elite, or maybe you wanna be the best, or maybe you just wanna test out some data, maybe you love data, maybe you've done a blood lactate test in the past, now you can do it from the comfort of your own home. You can do it when you're out on a run. So blood lactate testing is nothing new. It's been out for years, it's been out for decades, but it's only really been available to the elites, to the super professional nerds. There hasn't ever really been, from what I can see, an app or a system that's been so easy to use and that interprets the data and presents it back in a way that's super understandable for your beginners or intermediates. So a blood lactate test is where you effectively do a progressive ramp test. So every four minutes, you increase the speed or your power if you're doing cycling and you take a small, tiny finger prick of blood using this instrument, and it, in five seconds, tells you exactly how much lactate, or however you want to describe it, how much lactic acid is in your blood. And so then, by optimizing your training and looking at these levels within your blood, you can have super precise training data to understand if your training's working. Are you training in the right zone? Maybe you're not even reaching the right heart rate. Maybe those heart rate zones that you guessed are just completely wrong. So it's not a scary test. It's the same way that people who have diabetes measure their blood sugar, where they just take a tiny little pain prick of, where they just take a tiny pain prick of blood out of the finger. Some people do it out of the ear. It's a bit gross, it goes everywhere. I think it's all right out of the finger. So if you take a small pain prick of blood, from your finger and then you dab it on the lactate meter it will give you a reading somewhere between one and seven if the number's under two you're burning fat and you're clearing lactate within your muscles lactate is effectively a byproduct of when you're burning or glycogen or carbohydrates within your muscles in order to optimize for endurance build that aerobic engine burn fat to, to race for races that are, I don't know, 45 minutes, an hour plus, you've got to optimize your body's ability to clear lactate. So as soon as you start working at a high intensity or maybe you're running up a hill or you're racing, you start to produce lactate. It's that feeling where your legs feel heavy. You think, God, I want to stop. So if the number's over two, it means the lactate has escaped out of your muscles and into your blood because your muscles can't break it down anymore. The mitochondria within your muscles are unable to break down the lactate. And lactate can actually be used as a fuel source if it's cleared properly within your mitochondria. But actually, what happens is it escapes, and when you start to have lactate into your blood, it actually stops your body from burning fat as a fuel source because your body thinks, God, I need to clear this lactate before I start burning fat. So when you're able to talk during runs or cycling, you're probably burning fat. When you're out of breath, you're producing lactate that's escaping out of your muscles and is then being cleared. So within the app, when you've done your lactate test, and it's super simple to use, you just input your, what sport are you doing? What's your heart rate? What's your blood lactate? And what's your power? You do this at the end of each four minute or five minute rep, and then you press submit. You can edit the results, and then you can view all of the results as a graph. What you can then do is use the AI to analyze the results. But the best thing is, once you've filled out the performance questionnaire within the app, the AI looks at your lactate results, it looks at your performance questionnaire, 
and it gives you the most advanced training direction that you can possibly get. It tells you how to train at the easy intensity. It gives you suggestions on how to improve your body's ability to burn fat, how to clear lactate. It tells you if you had your heart rate zones wrong. It tells you exactly what heart rate to run at at each intensity. So yeah, this probably isn't for everyone. Yeah, it's quite nerdy. And if you, if you like that enthusiastic, amateur, elite professional, I think this is a great way of doing field testing to really understand if your training is actually working. How is your body coping with the training load that you're doing? What can you do to improve your training? So the first time I did this blood lactate test, I was actually quite shocked at how low my zone two was. It was about 140 beats per minute when my blood lactate started going above two millimole. But this was just like a, a nice surprise. I just turned it into a positive. And I just shed loads of training at the point where my blood lactate started to increase at 140 and then 150. And now my two millimole zone two heart rate is about 160 to 165. And what this means is that, yeah, I've got fitter, but actually, if you want to continue to increase your zone two or your fat burning, these zone two rides or zone two runs, they actually become really hard. So these runs actually then put a lot of fatigue into your body. So you just have to train even smarter. Now you fully understand your training zones. You can also compare your data to previous tests. So say you did a test today, you do another test in six weeks time, what you can do is you can overlay the results and you can see how much did I improve? What's changed? How has my threshold heart rate changed? My power, my watts per kilo. What about my zone two heart rate? What's happened to that? So if you're a coach or you're in a training group, a university or running club or cycling club, and you want to do this, all you have to do is go into the app, create a profile, you don't need to link your Strava or your Garmin for this part, and you just create an athlete, select the sport that you want to do, and then start a lactate test. It's so easy. I've tried to make it as easy as possible so it's not intimidating or overwhelming. If you're a coach, you can actually test multiple athletes from the same phone, and you can then share the results with your athlete in a way that's Again, really simple to do so. So over the next few weeks, I'll be doing some more videos. I'll be testing myself. I'll test my wife, I'll test a few other people and just show you how easy it is and how useful the data is for your training. Make sure you've optimized your training and make sure you're actually getting good data so you're actually improving. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'm honestly so grateful for all the support. Thank you for the likes and the subscribes. Please share the app if you think it's good. If you don't think it's good, please give me feedback. If you think there's something I can improve or a way I can make it easier to use or you think it's missing something, then please just email me or contact me or comment under this video and I'd love to get your response. Thank you so much.